All right, we're finally on the Logia non-canon fruits. I know I skipped Uta's fruit, and we're going to go back to that later. However, this is the liquid liquid fruit, but it never really got an English name. So technically, it's the Toro Toro no Mi, and that name holds a lot of significance for this fruit, and here's why. So the Toro Toro no Mi is actually an onomatopoeia, which a lot of the fruits are anyway, but this onomatopoeia does not mean like liquid liquid or swish swish or drip drip it's actually more akin to the syrupy texture of a fr of liquid like picture like maple syrup flowing which gives you the idea that this logia turns you into some sort of viscous pink syrupy like liquid i mean you're granted all the powers of a regular logia fruit you're just a liquid uh, like it's some unidentified pink liquid just like pink lemonade but sticky i guess and viscous the big downfall to this fruit, however, is that if you are put into a container that a liquid can fit in, which is like a bottle or something, but you cannot physically be in as a normal, like not Logia user, you cannot change back into your human form. You're still stuck as a liquid, le leading you to be captured pretty easily if you can get them to fit inside a bottle. Th this was back when Logias were much, much rarer. I mean, they're still rare, but th at this point, this is like really early on. This is the second movie, for God's sakes. Uh, Logia still were kind of, like, had to be a little underpowered so that you weren't too powerful. I mean, look at Smoker. Like, Smoker nowadays, like, okay, whatever, your power is not really that great. But back in the day, you're like, oh my god, we can't touch this guy. Same with this character, uh, whose name is Honey Queen. Also, usually Logias can bring their clothes with them into their elemental form, and Honey Queen is no exception, but she chooses to leave behind her clothes for some reason. It's for fan service, I guess, but, I don't know, lore-wise, it doesn't make any sense.